this video we're going to be focusing on simplifying fractions or as it's sometimes known writing a fraction in its simplest form now if at any point you really feel that I really understand this or that you really understand this should I say pause the video and then try the questions that are coming ahead I'm going to do 20 questions in total but if you think you really understand it pause the video and try the questions that come up ahead right let's start with the first five right I've got 2 over 4 now this fraction is actually not written in its simplest form and that's what we want to do we want to turn it into a fraction that's written as simple as possible and all I do is I ask myself well, is there a number I can divide into the top number and the bottom number well there is I can actually divide 2 into 2 and I get 1 2 divided by 2 is 1 and I can also divide 2 into 4 and 4 divided by 2 is 2 so 2 over 4 or 2 quarters is equivalent is the exact same as a half as 1 over 2 so that's the first one done let's have a look at the next one we've got 3 over 6 or 3 sixths what number can I divide into the top number that I can also divide into the bottom number well 3 I can divide 3 into 3 and I get 1 and I can divide 3 into 6 and I get 2 so 3 over 6 is the same as a half as well how about the next one what number can I divide into the top and the bottom it must be the same number I divide in well the answer here is 5 I can divide 5 into 5 and I get 1 and I can divide 5 into 15 and I get 3 5 divided by 5 gives me 1 and 15 divided by 5 gives me 3 what about the next one getting a little bit trickier now what number can I divide into the top and the bottom well, hopefully you realise that 3 is the biggest number I can divide into the top and the bottom. And 6 divided by 3 gives me 2. And 9 divided by 3 gives me 3. The last one for this slide. The biggest number now I can divide into the top and the bottom is 2. 2 divided by 2 gives me 1. And 8 divided by 2 gives me 4. Hopefully we're all getting a feel for it at this stage. Let's have a look at the next five. Again, if you feel like you understand it, pause the video now and try these five questions and then you can play the video and see if you got them correct. Anyway, here we go. So the biggest number I can divide into the top number and the bottom here is actually three. Three divided by three is one and 12 divided by three is four. Next one. The biggest number I can divide into the top and the bottom is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. Next one. What can I divide into the top and the bottom? Here it's 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. Notice, whatever I divide into the top, I divide into the bottom. In every single problem so far, I've done the same thing. If I divide a number into the top, I must divide it into the bottom. The next one. Well, the biggest number now I can divide into 10 and 25 is 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2. And 25 divided by 5 is 5. So 10 over 25 is the same as 2 fifths. And the last one for this slide... The biggest number I can divide into the top number and the bottom is 3. 3 into 3 goes once, and 3 into 18 fits in 6 times. So 3 over 18 is the same as 1 over 6. Okay, next one. Again, if you feel that you're understanding it at this point, pause the video and try these 5 questions. Alright, what is the biggest number I can divide into the top and the bottom? Well, here it's 2. 2 fits into 10 5 times or 10 divided by 2 is 5 should I say and 12 divided by 2 is 6 so I'm dividing the top by 2 and dividing the bottom by 2 next one biggest number here I can divide into top and bottom is 3 3 divided by 3 is 1 and 21 divided by 3 is 7 next one the biggest number here I can divide into the top number and the bottom is 5. 10 divided by 5 gives me 2 and 35 divided by 5 is 7. So 10 over 35 
is the exact same as 2 over 7. They are mathematically equivalent, they're the same. The next one here, what number can I divide into the top and the bottom? Well, hopefully you realise at this stage, this one is going to be 3. I'm going to, going to divide 3 into 9, and I get 3. And I'm going to divide 3 into 21, and I get 7. Right, the biggest number here now that I can divide into the top number and the bottom. Hopefully I'll realise that it's, well, they're both multiples of 10, so I can divide 10 into the top number and 10 into the bottom. 30 divided by 10 is 3, and 70 divided by 10 is 7. On we go. Last, last five now. If you haven't had a go at any at, at all at this stage, I recommend you pause the video and, and even try these, even if you're a little unsure. Give them a go. Right, the biggest number now I can divide into 20 and 35 is 5. So 20 divided by 5 gives me 4, and 35 divided by 5 gives me 7. So this is the same as this. Next one. The biggest number I can divide into the top and the bottom is 2. 10 divided by 2 gives me 5, and 14 divided by 2 gives me 7. Next one. Biggest number I can divide into top and bottom is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 24 divided by 3 is 8. Second last one now. Biggest number I can divide into top and bottom is 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1, and 80 divided by 10 is 8. Last one. Biggest number I can divide into the top and the bottom is 3. 9 divided by 3 gives me 3, and 24 divided by 3 is 8. And that's all 20 problems done now. Give them a go.